Assalamu alaikum. We already saw some examples about the past verbs in uh, generally. And uh, for the ones who are interested with the Arabic language to learn or to understand Al Quran al Kanim, we have some examples from uh, some verses uh, in the Quran, in Al Quran, and we see the past in uh, Al Quran al Kanim. The first will be uh, Alam Tara Kaifa Fa'ala Rabbuka Bi Ashab al Fil, it's the Surat al Fil. And it's the first verse from Surah Al-Fil. Alam tara kayfa fa'ala. The verb here, the past, is fa'ala. 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 We said that uh, we add some suffixes to, to the verbs in the past. And uh, lam, I have lam in the end. Lam, it's not. We didn't. I didn't remember that. Uh, we add we added lam uh, with that uh, uh, letters. So uh, here we don't have lam. So uh, there I have just one possibility is that uh, I have just the root letters here. And where or when I can find the just the root letters, it's with the pronoun huwa. Huwa fa'ala. He did. Huwa fa'ala. Alam tara. It's a question. Ah, this alif is a question. Alam tara or the question word in Arabic. Alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbuka. Didn't you sell uh, how your God did? Did. So did is fa'ala. Huwa fa'ala. Who is huwa? Allah. Rabbuka. Rabbuka. Your God. Alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbuka. Didn't. Uh, you didn't sell how your God did. Okay, so this is the Alam Tara Kaifa Fala Rabbuka Bi Ashabi Alfi. Okay, the next one is Well Anama Khalaqaha. Well Anama Khalaqaha. My verb is here. Khalaqa. Khalaqa. Okay. And anam it means the cattle, the and the cattle khalaqa it means created, and ha is for al anam. He created what? He created the cattle al anam. So khalaqa, khalaqa. Uh, do you remember that we have qaf in the end? Okay, we have qaf in the end. So do you remember that we added qaf when we added some letters to the verse? I don't think so. So, Qaf uh, is a root letter. It's the same case as the precedent one. And we have Khalaqa. It means that we conjugate this verb with Huwa. Who is Huwa here? Is Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, An'ama Khalaqaha. Allah or uh, the God created the cattle. Well, An'ama Khalaqaha. It's from Surah Al-Nahl. The fourth verse, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. The next one is إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ وَرَأَيْتَ إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ رَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجَ هنا, here, uh, we have from Surah Al-Fatih, oh, Surah Al-Nasr is the first verse. So, I have two uh, past verbs. I have جَاءَ and I have رَأَيْتَ so, إذا جاء, it means if, came, جاء, it means came, جاء, I need to know the pronoun. Every, every time you see a verb, you should know the pronoun to uh, try to understand the meaning, who is the subject, but because when you know the pronoun, it means the subject, the, the one who did the action, who is this one. And in Arabic, we, we said that we have a special pronoun to every, each case, so, when you, uh, uh, when you know the pronoun, so you are closer to understand the meaning of the whole sentence. So, إِذَا جَاءَ, جاء it means came, but with which pronoun? جَاءَ, we didn't have Hamza with the additional letter, so it's the same case. 
Jia, it's uh, just the root letters, and we find just the root letters with just one pronoun, and this pronoun is Hua. Hua Jia. Who is this? Hua Men Hua Nasru. Nasru, the victory. If the victory of Allah came, إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت ورأيت Okay, I will follow the same steps. رأيت رأيت Did I have any additional letters? تا I have تا Do you remember that we added تا? Yes, I remember. We added تا with أنت أنت رأيت أنت masculine singular أنت رأيت so if the victory of Allah came and you saw and you saw رأيت ورأيت you saw so the, my pronoun here uh, the pronoun here is هو here is who also here is هو and here is أنت أنت رأيت. Okay. The next one is حتى زرتم. حتى زرتم. حتى means until. Until زرتم. زرتم is my verb in the in the uh, in the past. زرتم. You visited. You you visited. So uh, زرتم. I have this. Uh, in the end so these two additional letters where I can so it's it's with which pronoun I should remember which pronoun which pronoun Antom Antom Zortom Antom Zortom it's in the past with the pronoun Antom Antom a plural of masculine the addressee and Tom Zortum so Hatta Zortum until you visited okay and this is some meanings of uh, just the verbs not the meanings of the verses just the verbs what's me what means uh, in uh, in this verses see you uh, in this yes in this verses see you next time inshallah assalamu alaikum